Hello guys, hello and welcome, welcome back to another episode of FTV Infinity, that's right, and we are here at the center of our new base where we build the awesome controller, and as you can see I've been busy, and I've made those walkways all around, so we are actually pretty much ready to start building the new base and I have something here to show you uh, and well actually today I want to actually make two things uh, one is the storage system and the other one is actually down there it's the um, it's the energy core from the draconic evolution so hopefully we are, we'll be able to make that and I built between the episodes this room. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to build this on camera because, uh, you know, this is just the aesthetics. And even building this uh, took me quite a while. And yeah, I wanted to, mm, this room to look like there's a lot of cooling everywhere, you know, because we will have a lot of drives. Uh, this is actually how the drives are going to be uh, here so you can see everything is prepared and I've got a little bit of room uh, on the top so yeah we are pretty much ready to build all of this and uh, I can actually show you how this room look without the night vision so yeah there's a lot of light actually because I'm using this glowstone right here and I have some painted glowstone somewhere uh, yeah you, you actually can't see the difference but this is painted glowstone too for example so yeah there's quite a lot of light and I've got a magnum torches everywhere so don't worry there won't be any spawning so I'm gonna actually turn the night vision on. So before we start, I actually want to kind of explain a little bit more how this thing is working because it's essential for you to understand why you want to build something like that. And you can see something changed because uh, yeah, I want to put. Uh, the test right here and the magnum torch right here so I add those edges uh, because I don't want to actually see that much inside so yeah uh, I will explain why you want to build this monstrosity for your own or something similar to this uh, because this is this is like the brain and here you can see I've got those two quantum rings. The quantum rings, the only thing that it does, it actually transfer this signal wirelessly in dimension, in other dimensions, or uh, like uh, for huge distances. Uh, so this is this is just uh, like the wireless receiver and transmitter in one. So there's oh, there is. Uh, like nothing complicated about those. Uh, one thing, how they work. Uh, you've got those uh, quantum uh, linking something. Uh, those, where are they? Uh, those, yeah, I've got renamed all of them. Oh, quantum entangled singularities. So you've got those and you actually rename them. I renamed them by the color that they are representing so right here I've got the yellow one and here I've got the yellow one so basically now oh uh, feel the lag oh my god uh, basically now uh, what this does so as you can see I've got here a terminal that is directly connected to this quantum ring so that means that uh, this yellow quantum ring is actually taking signal from the terminal and uh, passing it through this Q 
cable right here into our brain and right here I've got the PDB tunnel, tunnel and the white cable and oh uh, okay I, I placed this in a bad spot uh, never mind so what the PDB tunnel actually does is that I have uh, here 32 channels on one cable I can have and the PDB tunnel actually do that it will kind of wrap those channels into one signal and send it through like a uh, one channel and you actually can't use those channels on the way but when you then put it like here again you can then use that so i'm connecting here those drives with some items in it there are some random items okay <clears throat> there are some random items in it so i'm putting them through this white white cable that is right here somewhere uh this is the this this is the white cable so i'm putting uh those data from those drives to this uh channel or this cable to this brain and i can access them actually from this orange cable that is on purple there's a purple quantum ring so this ring and this this is yellow sorry this orange cable i can actually see those data that i have there so as you can see if i remove those items i have zero items and if i'm about to put them right here i can access them again from here or if i want those drives to be here i can see the items from here and even i can see the items from here and if i'm about to take this and this and if i want to connect the terminal to this cable i am able to i'm able to reach for those items so this is basically how this thing actually works so this is why you want to do that uh, it's wireless and yeah you don't have to uh, have a lot of controllers around your base like this is the one main controller that can handle all that you will actually ever have so that's why you want to build something like that so i'll put those things back why they do not stack um okay i don't know so i'll put those things back and uh, what we want to do is we want to actually take some dice and uh, yeah let's take this back and this so what we want to do right now is we want to build a storage system and uh, yeah i need to die some of those cables so let me just quickly do that and uh, we will be building um the storage system and actually the mac done tutorial for uh the storage system or the layout for it that i will be using because it's much more handy uh he didn't invent it that though uh so yeah i will put the link in the description for that tutorial so basically what i will do is that i will build one uh right here because i can't remember it from memory or i can build for it from memory so i will build one right here and then we'll build one together or maybe two together so you will actually see how to build that so let me do that and i will be back soon all right guys so 
this is the system for our storage and yeah this is kind of complicated one uh, what this thing do is that those are all storage buses and uh, we will actually be able to see the drives these 64 key drives in the system and plus the orange one uh, through the orange one we will be able to see the items in the actual drives so when we want to put another drives in our system you can see there's like uh, 6 12 and 1 2 3 4 5 it's 50 60 uh, ME drives and in each you can put like 10 so it's 600 drives so yeah putting 600 drives in the system yeah it's it's imaginable and beside though we have like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so yeah do the math 600 by 12 yeah that that that's a lot that's actually pretty a lot so yeah there's no way that i would run around and put all those drives in by hand so what the system does is that it will allow, allow me to put those drives in, or put those storage cells into those drives and uh, the second wire will actually be able to uh, be able to um, see what's in those drives so let me actually just quickly demonstrate it uh, if we take like those drives and if we take some cells and uh, we need a terminal we need actually two terminals so there are two wires up here and yeah i need to just uh, extend this thing uh, just for the purpose of showing you i will do only the one side but those two sides will actually be like somehow connected uh, so if i am about to put an energy into our system and I will put some drives right here, sorry not like that, uh, right here. <clears throat> you can actually see it's taking three channels. One is the ME interface and two are those drives. So right now if I would put the, where are my terminals? one year and one year so if I'm about to put manually those drives in and I can access them through this uh, orange wire and yes feel like so I can actually dump a lot of items in here so as you can see I've got two here and the one cell is actually empty and the one has something in it. What this does that the orange wire, through the orange wire I can actually see what's inside those storage cells. And through the blue wire I can actually see those storage cells. So you can see there's one with some items and there's one without those items. And if I'm about to pull out the one without items you can see there's one missing and the same thing I can do I can just uh, okay okay so much lag I need to restart the game uh, if I'm about to put the, uh, the storage cell back you can see it appear magically right here so yeah this is all about uh, this wiring and as I said DMAG have a really good tutorial on it. Uh, he explained there a lot of things how to do this, why to do this, and you know, just 
uh, just to show you how to actually man manage that and I did something wrong and I need two skibbles actually from the drive so <clears throat> no I don't need the redstone I need two skibbles and two skibbles so yeah uh, great and uh, right now I will do one side with you and then we can actually uh, we can actually move on so the first thing that you want to put in is the interface so on those three blocks uh, let me just take what I would need storage bars interface like that so right now what you want to do first is put the interface right here and then you will take a blue wire yes that's blue and uh, I will actually power this one uh, quickly so on the top of the interface you want uh, you want the storage bus and I will take a power from here and we will quickly power this so you can actually see what's happening so right now we've got a power and we've got a cable and this cable you can see got one channel on it so if I'm about to add more stuff into it so we need uh, for this those are storage buses yeah so we need first for the one arm we need a storage bus and as you can see there's on the cable it should oh it do not have a power yes that's unfortunate that's unfortunate so I need to actually add this do it and uh, yeah the power is yeah so that doesn't matter if I have power or not so for the arms you want to where is that fiber for the arms you want to have like storage bus every second space because you need to actually leave a space for the drives so I have like one channel right here that's the interface and I've got two totally three channels right here so, uh, four five channels right here so I can go one more and uh, do I have the storage bus and the storage bus so I have uh, I have one two three four five six seven and the cable can actually transfer eight channels so like that eight channels so this is one kind of new network and if I'm about to add the interface I will create another yeah that's the interface right yeah I will create another like a sub system so like that uh, actually I want to do it like that uh, I, need, I need to turn on my magnet Oh, so much stuff, so much stuff. Uh, so, storage bus interface, and I can add more cables. So, I can go then ahead and place another storage buses. So, that's the kind of the main wiring for uh, the for uh, showing what's inside those drives. So right now we want those arms. 
and we create those arms that we will take in a name I mean interface and we will add those on the storage buses so we will create again another sub network and now we can take a cable and put three cables like so so we will have those arms for the drives so great we have we have the cables in place and the next thing that we want to do is actually take another storage buses and place them like that and why is why we are placing them like that it's because we don't want uh, this cable to be able to see inside the storage cell but we want this cable to be able to see inside the ME drive and the ME drive of course have 10 slots so yeah we want to be able to see inside the ME drive not the storage cell so uh, you can do this all the way around and uh, the next step is actually getting power for those arms and it's a little bit tricky uh, it's not hard but the yeah, tricky it is so I will finish up this hopefully I've got enough storage buses do i have more yes i've got more excellent 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 oh my god do i have yeah i put the storage buses oh for a minute i thought that i put the interfaces now great so we put in the storage buses and now uh, we need to get a power in it and for it we will use the quartz fiber and why we are using this it's because the quartz fiber does transfer the energy but do not transfer the data so we want to put two like that and like that and now we can connect them together so you can actually see that those arms are getting power right now so that's great and we need to power all those arms so what we want to do is to just take a pattern like that with the quartz fiber so we are not transferring Data. we are only transferring the energy and if I'm about to put the last one you can see all those arms light up great so same thing we will actually do on the other side and uh, like that so we are getting power into the arms so that's great now uh, what we want to do is to actually add actually add those orange cables for the net the network that will actually see uh, the content of uh, the storage cells so again we will start with M interface and search bus. So M interface we can knock out the block and again M interface and on top of it we want to put uh yeah storage bus and storage bus so uh, right now what we can do is connect this this put the fiber guy here 
here and we are getting power into those arms so right now what we want to do we want to go two one two down and again let me just double check yep yeah, boss interface so again we want to create another sub network so boss interface and actually we need to get a power to this so every like a arm we want to add fiber quartz little thing on it so we actually pass the power to the orange wiring like that so from this again one two uh storage bus interface again one two storage bus interface one two and a storage bus interface and last cable so as you can see this is taking two channels on it so uh the last six channels to complete the eight are those drives so this is how you actually build thing and now i'm going to finish up all those uh all those wirings and uh yeah i will be back when it's finished all right guys so you ready to see that overkill you ready okay so here we go yes um this is madness this is complete madness so um we have totally 720 spaces for drives so yeah this is this is something awesome and as you can see i've got all those drives ready to be plugged in and uh, before we do that uh, i actually completed this it's just wiring up together those blues because through that blue we can see these um, the storage inside those drive um yeah <clears throat> that's what missing so as you can see i've got here terminal of course we can't see anything yet because there's anything in that yet if i would place a drive here wait what no 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 there's something wrong there's something wrong um i haven't tested it yet uh we are accepting power we should be able to see inside um well it's a storage bus this is interface um I am not sure what's wrong. Okay, we we've got one channel right here. But we do not have any channels coming from blues. And that's that's not what we should see. Uh, this is storage bus, storage bus, interface. Yeah, there's everything mm, okay, but... Uh, 20 storage buses. We should be able to see inside a drive. Um okay lagging again uh okay we know that this is working so no nothing yet nothing yet okay so 
if I if I disconnect this oh okay okay so now we have signal okay so how we want to do that um but we should be able to actually pass the signal through here um we are definitely passing the energy but we are not passing the signal okay 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 so if i would connect those two together and knock this off okay we have two signals right now so if i would knock this guy off let's see let's see we, we can make it we can make it so we've got three signals and well we can connect those together too like that and if we would connect them like that we've got six channels that's right so six channels and 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 um i know what we can do let's pop this guy off i'm not sure why this is not transferring through the dense cable i'm not sure i thought it would work but okay then we can we can make it differently so i will fix it fix this and i will be back in a moment all right guys so i fixed the problem um and right now uh, i will just pop those off and uh, we can put them right here so you'll see it and i've brought with myself a few of those cells so if we put those cells cells inside yes they are right here so great and now the next step is actually connect uh, the storage inside those cells into our system so we are going to use the quantum ring and uh, yeah i want to put the quantum ring somewhere i will just use those to pull it up thank you so i want to put the quantum ring right uh okay no 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 yes yes i need to put it there so just making a little bit of space so the quantum ring like that okay and we will be using the yellow channel so right now what we want to do is take a yellow cable so we can recognize that easily after some time so where's my yellow cable right here and on the yellow we want to use for example the green one or the red one it would be better actually no i want to use the orange one yes the orange one so i will take the orange one and we need p2b tunnels like so we actually need two 
and I've got myself a memory card so which one is orange actually this one is orange so shift click so we now loaded these settings and right now we want to okay pop this guy off one two pdb tunnel pdb tunnel and orange orange and loaded settings loaded settings okay so right now we want to actually well actually i can power this thing from here so we can take off the power and i want to use the quartz fiber and i want to use the yellow wiring yes that's right and now the energy acceptor well is it getting power or not because i can't tell oh it's actually getting powered that's cool I wonder how long this will stay powered. Never mind. So now we want to take those cables and bring them together like that. Okay, so we've got. Right. And the dense cable. Actually, I want to go one more below, like so. So hopefully, hopefully, this will connect together. Okay, seems okay. So we can do the same thing on the other side like that like that so yes that's all right and this guy this guy okay so connecting those up and after this we are actually able to test it if it's working or not okay good and another one right okay I do not want the blue uh, well I need more orange Keyballs, hopefully I've got some orange. Oh yes, I've got. And I want smart cables. So uh, not like that. Like that. And it's actually a storm out there. So Okay, and we can connect those up like so yes everything working fine and I actually got somewhere oh, it's actually quite noisy let me just sleep quickly if I'm able to because this is quite noisy so hopefully this solved our problem with the thunder and I actually have somewhere where it is do I have it here or not um the terminals I've had them somewhere okay I can't see them so let's just uh terminal yes we want those we want to go back 
and we want to test this thing yep so if i would put the terminal on this thing am i able to see something so if i'm about to put those drives in and i can check this right here one one type of items yes yes that's what i want to see and if i am about to run right here and this is the purple one and if i take a cable plop it right here use this yes we can see everything in our system and even if i would take uh where's my tool if i would take a ptp tunnel or if I even take uh, the purple cable and P2P tunnel and dense cable, for example, the brown one, because we are not using brown one, uh, and I would place this, um, this, this, take a memory card, our purple one. Let's find the brown one. Yes, that's the brown one. Okay. Oh, I made it wrong. I shift click that. This is the brown one. Let's take the brown one and load the settings. Um, okay. So if I would now... Okay, it won't connect it's a purple one yes yes i know so if i take flux one so this will actually connect i can see those drives perfect perfect guys so we've got the, right now the humongous storage system and of course there's something i need to complete i need to fill up those all those drives in and start filling them up with the 64 storage cells but yes we've done this we've done this and uh, we can actually now access this storage system from everywhere we want so that's amazing that's amazing and unfortunately uh yeah and by the way i know why the why there was a problem with the dense cable because i was powering this smart cable so um uh, I wasn't giving sufficient power to the system for it to work so uh, yeah um, so this is all the wiring that we actually need to do and uh, unfortunately I do not have time to build uh, the energy storage energy cell energy those from dragon Egg evolution but we can actually get it uh, done like a first thing in the next episode and the next episode uh we want to build um the auto crafting system so one room will be for the uh, crafting key units and one room will be for the atomic assemblers so yes uh, this is it guys uh We've done quite a lot of work today and hopefully you understand everything that I was saying. So, yes, this is incredible work and I'm looking forward to start using this. Of course, we still need to kind of connect um, our system, uh, our old system into this new one. So, that's a, that's a lot of work too. So, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you do, please leave a like or comment or something like that. And consider subscribing, it would be appreciated. So, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.